Hello, I'm Mark Abadi. This is Mark's Minutes on being yourself. That's right, you. Being true to yourself. Oh, it's a very common thing for people to say, oh, be yourself, oh, be yourself. Well, you're not being yourself. <laughs> you can notice this particularly when people get drunk and they change their personalities. Their personalities just shift. Suddenly they're either a very quiet person normally, and then they get drunk and they're loud and gregarious, and blah blah. Or the opposite, you know, loud and gregarious, and they get drunk, you know, or they or they're very gentle and then they become aggressive. What this is is when you get drunk, the frontal lobes here start to dissociate, and these are sort of the protection mechanism. This is like our policeman. So as the frontal lobes dissociate, it, uh, the limbic system just sort of takes over. The limbic system is our emotional system. It just hijacks us. But you can consider it being more our inner self. The key here is to blend the inner self with the self you project in everyday life. Otherwise, you end up living this illusion. And the problem with living an illusion is you know you're lying to yourself somewhere. It doesn't really matter about lying to other people. That's always been a myth. You know, you could go around the world and lie, lie, lie. It really wouldn't matter. So long as you were telling yourself the truth, you know, that's the important thing. Obviously, to such a degree, if you were lying to everyone, then there would be a degree where you weren't telling yourself the truth because you wouldn't want to be treating people like that because you want them to know you and get close to you, so blah, blah, blah. The point is, though, it's you that it's about. You being true is not about you being a good person or you being a saintly person doing things for others. No, it's, it's nothing to do with that. You being true is about you telling yourself the truth about you and accepting it. Hey, so you get angry when people push your buttons. Check Mark's minutes on buttons. Great, so what? Accept it. Yeah, that's the first step. The first step to changing any aspect about yourself is acceptance. I accept it's there. I accept that part of me. Because as soon as you accept it, most of those problems disappear. It's in your own field that it can continue to stay. You power it. You solidify it by rejecting it. This is why the Indians, well, the Indians say, let it go, let it go. But they don't mean let it go. That's not what they're talking about. When they say let it go, it's letting go of the resistance to it. It's letting go of pushing it away. Let go, just let it in. Oh, but it hurts. Yes, it hurts. Everyone's got their pains. Okay, that's what makes us human. Without the pain, we wouldn't know the joy. Get it? Good. Accept it. Take it. Embrace it. Be it. Then when you embrace it, then if you choose I don't really like that aspect about myself. I think I'm going to change it. Then you can change it. But not until you've got it, not until you've actually embraced it and accepted it, can you allow the change to occur. So, embrace, accept, be yourself. As Oscar Wilde said, be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Until next time, signing out.